What's going on guys? It's Thomas from Romer Fitness and in today's video I'm going to share with you a full body workout that my brother and I uh, recently did and I really am excited to share this with you because full body workouts um, they kind of get neglected. People kind of think that they're only for beginners and not a whole lot of people do them but the cool thing about full body workouts is that it allows you to train your muscle groups with a higher frequency. So typically if you're doing a bro split, you're only training your muscle groups once a week and that's kind of bad because muscle protein synthesis um, is lasts in a muscle for up to 48 hours. So after that point, your muscles are ready to be stimulated again. So with a full body workout, you can really help to maximize muscle protein synthesis and maximize your muscle gain. So uh, this is a, we're gonna show you all the exercises we did and my brother is just kind of recently starting his own fitness journey here. He's 18 years old, so I will be sure to keep you guys updated with his progress as it goes along. And the other workout we're doing is an arm workout. So we have a two day split. The first day is a full body workout. The second one is an arm workout. So I'll put the link to that somewhere here in the video. So it is a little bit of an odd split. We kind of set it up this way so we could focus more on direct arm work and then have the other day as a full body workout. So a little bit of an odd split, but it does work and it does get the job done. So let's go ahead and jump right into the workout. All right guys, so the first exercise we're starting off with here is the barbell back squat. This is really the king of all lower body exercises. It's going to be a great exercise to target the glutes, hamstrings, quads, all the major muscle groups in the lower body. My brother's starting it off here. He's doing 255. I believe, I believe we get to around five reps or so. And we're doing this in reverse pyramid style training. So here I go. I'm doing 300. And I'm going to get this for five reps. And then so on our next set, we do less weight, but we increase the amount of reps. And then on the third set, we lower the weight again, and we do more reps than that so it's three sets on the first set we'll typically do around five to six reps and then around six to seven on the second set and seven to eight reps on the third set so this is actually also the only lower body exercise that we're doing and I explain why in this video that I'll put up here on the screen somewhere uh, next exercise we go on to incline dumbbell bench press so I am doing, let's see, 80 pound dumbbells here. I believe I get around eight reps on this one. Uh, the reason why we do incline is because it works on the upper chest muscles more and it will create an even thickness throughout the entire chest muscle. So it's a really good upper body pressing movement. Now my brother is doing the barbell bench press incline version. I, I I've kind of hit a major plateau with that exercise, so that's why I've switched over to dumbbells for the time being. But he's doing the barbell version here, keeping the form pretty nice and tight. Um, you know, again, when you use dumbbells, each side has to work evenly. And sometimes if you have one side stronger than the other with the bench press, that can kind of take over. So it's just whatever you prefer, really. And now we're moving on to our back exercise, and for that we're going to be doing chin-ups. As you can see here, weighted chin-ups. My brother's doing 25 pounds, going all the way up, controlling it on the way down. And this is going to be a really good vertical pulling movement to widen out the lats. This is one of my favorite exercises ever. And you'll notice I'm doing the exercise here with some gloves, just to try and give myself a little bit better grip, because when that bar gets sweaty and you lose your grip, it's pretty much game over with this with this exercise here. So I have 70 pounds strapped to my waist here. And I'm just going all the way up, focusing on controlling it on the way down. And now we're moving on to lateral raises. One of the best isolation exercises ever to broaden out the shoulders. So for this exercise, again, we're doing the reverse pyramid style of training and we're sticking with a little bit higher uh, rep ranges in the range of around eight to 12. So just focusing on going up and then controlling it on the way down. And then I am doing the seated lateral raises here just to try and work on my form a little bit and keep it in control a little bit uh, better. You know, not use so much momentum swinging the weight up and down. 
And then after that, after our three sets, we do rest pause training. So what we'll do is we'll lower the weight and we'll do five reps. We'll rest for 10 seconds and then do another five reps. Rest for 10 seconds, another five reps. Rest for 10 seconds, another five reps. So four sets of the rest pause training where we just uh, rest only 10 seconds in between each set. So I'm only gonna show you two of the sets here for the rest pause training, but you get the idea. It's really just a finisher for the shoulders, just a great way to really burn them out and finish them off because it's just a really good exercise to build up the brownish of the shoulders. And then for the rear delts, what we're doing here is a reverse dumbbell fly. So the rear delt gets neglected a lot. You know, people tend to skip over this type of exercise that we're doing here, but it's one of the most important things you can do for posture and fixing muscular imbalances. Doing too many pressing movements will sort of rotate the shoulders forward and just create this hunched over look. So to improve your posture and improve the overall health of your shoulders and prevent shoulder injuries, this is a really good exercise to do. And we're also not doing any type of mil military press or anything like that because the front delts are gonna get hit pretty hard from the incline bench pressing that we're doing. And it's just, when you're doing a full body workout, it's kind of hard to fit everything in there without working out for a ridiculous amount of time. So finally, we're finishing off with the core. We're doing a superset here. So we're doing the ab wheel as the first exercise. And the ab wheel is a really good exercise to target those deep abdominal muscles, the transverse abdominus, which sits below the rectus abdominus, which is the visible part of the six pack that you see. So this is a really good exercise for keeping the core tight and strengthening, strengthening the overall core muscles. So if you tend to get lower back pain or you notice you have lower back pain when you lift or just day to day in general, it could be because you have tight hip flexors and you also have weak abdominals. So this is a really good exercise to strengthen the abs. And you'll notice we go all the way out. We don't bring it all the way in because we wanna keep constant tension on the ab muscles. That's the point of the exercise. If you just go back to where you're uh, perpendicular with the floor, all you're doing is taking tension off of the abs. And then we're supersetting the ab wheel rollout with a lower back extension. So this is kind of like the yin and the yang. So you have the abs and then you also have the low back. So two very important muscle groups for overall core strength and stability. So you'll notice we're doing these weighted here, just he's using a 25 pound plate, slowly going down, controlling it on the way up, just like that. And you know, again, this is another exercise, you know, people don't tend to do, you just focus on the ab exercises, but the other part to that is the lower back. And here I go with the 45 pound plate, definitely not controlling it as well as my brother is, that is for sure. So I could certainly do a better job of that. I guess I'm just trying to focus more on being explosive. I don't really know, but yeah, I could certainly do a better job controlling it on the way down for sure. So that is gonna be it for this workout. If you liked it, be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my latest tips and videos. And other than that, I will be talking to you next time. Peace.